Genji, but we're not going to need to theory craft any more, folks, as we see the beautiful jiggling cow. We are headed <laughs> into our first map of today, Busan. It's like looking in a mirror for me, seeing that <laughs> oh, cow, right? Please, Boop. <laughs> well, let's I would get, say more of a calf. <laughs> let's get right back into this. Kangarna, well, you know, their team comp, Pika, is on that Doomfist. We're probably not going to see that for much longer. Maybe we will, as we are seeing it combined with that Hammond. Yeah, there is going to be a Hammond, you know, run by more in spawn. You know, I, I have been Jabate in yeah. my day. More, I, I see that. It's unlikely we're going to be seeing that support player on the Hammond. Zenyatta <laughs> is a lot more likely. And on the side of uh, first generation, it looks like they're going to be going with the counter goats composition. One of the ones that's very popular in Vogue today is going to have Zapri on the Sombra and Naga on that Fara. So first generation really going to be looking to make usage of that Sombra's infinite invisibility. Go and get some information, some scouting and Naga for his part. You might must get some splash damage in on the enemy team before they engage on the objective because barrage is going to be the key to victory for first gen. Yeah, getting that first rocket barrage can definitely open up the point for them. The point will open in about 13 seconds, but right now first generation has pushed Kangarna back. They have taken a lot more space closer to the point right now, and that's going to give them an advantage right when this point opens up because Naga is in the air tracking exactly where they are, but here they go. They're going to amp it up and try to get onto the point. The tickle damage from the Tesla cannon on it Winston is going to be weakening him up a little bit. We're seeing exactly why. Naga's going to get the first blood of this match against Web, but now it's a 5v5 onto the point because they have a traded Zinker, though, with that D-Mag getting Nomi out of there. There are no more tanks available for first generation as Kangarna grabs the point. Going to be very difficult for first gen to stay here. Zachary going to translocate right out of there as for Kangarna do take first control, but anytime you are running that GOATS composition, pressuring the objective is no problem. The question is always going to be how long can you hold that, especially against Naga's Barrage, which is just a scant few seconds away. Pika is really the only one with any ability to contest in the air. Oh, the Rocket Barrage does go down and gets two more. And Pika are going to go down. The EMP is going to follow up against First Generation, but it's not going to be enough. Zachary actually going against Kangarna. Duplicate with that charge kill, though, is going to try to bring things back for Kangarna as they do have five people online, but Nomi and Robdap both have their ultimates, while Kangarna doesn't have any to work with right now. So First Generation definitely has an opening to grab this point, and that's exactly what we're going to see. Really great, beautiful play from first generation. Naga taking that flanking route behind all of Kangarna while the tanks were absorbing Duplicate and Pika's attention on that front line. So a really great usage of ultimates right there. They will still have that Primal Rage as well as a Sound Barrier and Valkyrie to continue to hold on to that. It's going to be really crucial here because Kangarna already have 42%. Zinger's going to go ahead and drop that Graviton Surge and get Nomi inside of it. And Moore is going to drop that Transcendence to keep the rest of Kangarna healthy. This is their opportunity to grab their point, but they're going to be walking into a Valkyrie and a Self-Destruct. Robin with that Resurrection means this is a full 6v6. Self-Destruct doesn't get anything, but Kangarna is waiting for that Shatter to come down. Wup has that rally, and the rally is going to be released. Nomi with that Primal Rage is going to get a kill onto Insomniac, and here he is trying to bully the Reinhardt off of the point once again. He's going to try to focus down the Sinker on that Zarya, but it's going to get stunned and taken very low from it, but the Mercy is there for that healing. Will this self-destruct grab anything? Ooh. Yes, it does! It gets Rob Dev, possibly the most important member, to grab with that self-destruct him. Oh, first generation stalling out as long as possible, but Kangarna, they just have so many bodies, so many HP pools on the point itself. Eventually, Kangarna's wick will burn down and Kangarna grab control of the point once again. And this is a very dangerous territory for both teams. Duplicate and Sinker need to land the Earth Shatter or that Graviton Surge. And the same can be said for Zapri and Naga with that EMP and Barrage, because at 55%, whoever takes this next fight will be in one and done territory. Here we go, my friends. Duplicate with that Earth Shatter. Sinker's gonna get to that grab. Just 1% away has it right now. Naga, though, has that Rocket Barrage. What will we see at first? Naga's looking for a good moment to drop it. Is it gonna be no? No, the direct kill is gonna be enough. Naga, with that EMP, is going to drop that Rocket Barrage. Get Duplicate, and now they have the numbers. And if this is math, and I believe in math, first generation <laughs> will be taking this point eventually. They do just need to clean up the last couple of squishy supports here. There is still a Zarya here, and a Sound Barrier as well. Insomniac dropping that heal beat, buying crucial more time as Kangarna tick up towards 90%. Huey forced to throw that self-destruct just to clean 
things up here. First generation, they managed to hold on to this point. Nomi will have that primal rage, but one thing that we have seen so far in this round is he does have a tendency to overextend. The problem with Kangarna's Goats is it's very hard to catch any of these very flighty defense or diving heroes in order to kill them. Now, Sinker swapping onto the McCree, that's really going to help to have that flashbang on hand, especially against Zafri Sombra. Yeah, first generation doesn't have the Reinhardt, for, so Sinker's going to have an easier time getting that damage in there. Nomi's going to drop that Primal Rage. Is he going to get anything out of it? He's keeping them in this room right here, but the kills aren't going to be able to follow. Kangarna still has that Urshi Shatter. The Coalescence has been brought out, and oh, look at this. Rob Dab is going to be the first to fall in this fight. First generation is functioning without their mercy, and the move back onto Duplicate means that this Earth Shatter could have been way worse for them, but look at this. Three, four, five kills for Kangarna right now. They have a huge opportunity to flip this point. They just got to confirm the kills. There we go, and confirm the kills they will. Naga felled that Bird of Prey, brought down to the ground by a boop from Insomniac's Lucio of all heroes. And first generation looking like they're not going to be able to touch it. Indeed, poor little hamster rolling in just a little bit too late. <laughs> what a way to start, though. 100 to 99. Kangarna coming out on top in the end. Tell me what if one thing that they did to put him over the edge. It was just very disciplined, clean play, Boop. I mean, Kangarna, it seems like everybody's, you know, on the same page in terms of who they're going to be focusing down. A lot of times you see those diving tanks go deep in the back line, maybe laser down a Zenyatta, you know, tickle Lucio away from the rest of his team so they can't get any of that AoE healing. Nomi was definitely trying for that play style, but Kangarna punished him time and time again when he overextended away from the line of sight of the rest of his team. So as we head now into Sanctuary, going to be hoping to see, you know, maybe a little bit more positional awareness from first generation. You got to keep those divers up and healthy because when it comes to the siege battle, you can't win against goats. Yeah, Naga is going to have that pharmacy on him right now. That fair was pretty effective, but just barely not effective enough. Eventually losing that round, and Somniac is going to get go back to spawn, as is the rest of Kangarna Ham. Yeah, they saw what first generation were bringing to the table. They're going to be swapping up a few things of their own. I really do like this, though. More on the Moira and Wub this time around, picking up the McCree. So you're going to have some dedicated anti-air hit scan. And, of course, more going to be able to throw in all of that burst healing with that Moira and maybe even tickle the Farah in the air if she gets a little bit too cocky. Yeah, first generation were able to get the point. Nomi is going to be a little late to this fight, but he is back. And now switching from that Hammond onto this Reinhardt, Naga though has a pretty good opening to get some damage. He's got to get those direct hits. 25% away from that rocket barrage here. 15% on the point for first generation so far. Taken very, very low. And Wub is going to do his job as that McCree and take out Naga out of the air. That's two kills for Wub. The McCree really coming to bear here. Although I do believe we have an unfortunate disconnect right there from uh, one of the players of first generation. So a quick pause coming through just to make sure that, you know, both teams have all the members, all, you know, healthy players here. As good as, you know, Naga is is I don't think that first generation can win 5v6. Well, I think, again, we, we talked about believing in math earlier. 5v6 is going to be harder for the team that has the 5. The really unfortunate thing about it is when you come back, you lose all that mm -hmm. ult charge. Yeah, definitely a lot of ult charge, and, you know, you lose that positional advantage. You're going to have one member, you know, staggering back into the team, maybe not positioned exactly where you want it, and especially when you're running dive, that positioning is crucial. You have high mobility heroes, but not a whole lot of HP to go around, so it's all the about that careful positioning. Yep, and so we're about to see a replay from Wub, and let's see this double kill on it. This McCree gonna knock this Pharah out of the air. Look at that, knew exactly where they were going. Hey, that environment's not big enough for you. Yeah, I know. Really clean play from Wub right there. I mean, I, I, I'm not a pro player, but when I see that kind of you know really crisp, uh, a crispy drop like that, I'm certainly impressed. I mean, you know. <laughs> I can barely hit the environment. Well, we're about to get back into game here in just a second. One thing I do want to talk about is the importance of Wub on that McCree. Nomi did switch from that Hammond to provide a little bit more shielding for, for the rest of the team, but, you know, in the end there, it wasn't enough. He got those two kills. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate right there, but I do like the swaps coming through from first generation. They decided to go all in with their own GOATS composition right here. Rob Dab on the Zenyatta, Tensa on the Lucio. So this Zen picket against Moore's Moira 
Aura is really going to help First Generation focus down and shred those shields and those tanks with the help of that Discord Orb. Yeah, Moore has the coalescence, and Wub has that Deadeye. Is it noon? It looks like it might be. But what First Generation <laughs> did was they asserted themselves, got in his face, and he wasn't able to get those kills. However, it is a 6 v for First Generation right now. The self-destruct is out, and it does again. Hui and what started off as a first blood for First Generation, Kangarna is going to end up winning the team fight. Yeah, Kangarna, they held control of the point that entire time. So even while First Generation were coming in very aggressively, that was still point percentage going the way of Kangarna. And now they have cycled ultimates to the point where they're going to have an Earth Shatter and a Sound Barrier to continue to try and hold control of this point. First Generation, they're working up to their own Earth Shatter. There's a possibility of a combination there with Hui's self-destruct. But once again, it's going to be about catching Kangarna off guard right here to set up a great Shatter. All right, Nomi is looking for that Earth Shatter. He wants a Fatty Shatter. Is he going to get it? He is going to knock two down, and they're going to focus him down just in a time. Three kills coming from First Generation. Kagarna's going to have a hard time coming back from this. Wub does have that high noon. He will not use it because he's got to save it for the next fight. Yeah, Kangarna wisely, you know, not popping any ultimates in a panic there in that lost fight. I mean, Nomi, man, just, you know, strutted up there and it's like, oh, there's so many Rhine mind games and, you know, that posturing and stuff. And nobody expects you to just walk up there and press Q, man. And that was a beautiful shatter right there. Rob Dab going to have that transcendence online as well as Zafri's rally for this next fight. So Kangarna finding themselves on the back foot just a little. Yep, Duplicate though is going to look for a good Earth Shatter of his own. He's going to take the play out of Nomi's book and just walk up. He's going to get one with the swing of the hammer. He's going to get two himself. The Transcendence is going to be there. Self-Destruct is out for First Generation as well. Gets one. This is a pretty even fight on the point so far, but First Generation is taking advantage of those kills right now, and they are winning it out in the end. Yeah, a little bit more of a scrappy fight from First Generation, but most crucially, they are able to hold. Now they will have this sound barrier online, and Kangarna, you know, invested pretty heavily in that last fight. They really, really would have preferred if they were able to take it, because now they're in that one fight territory. If Kangarna can grab this point, they will likely be taking boost on here and with it our very first map. But first generation, they are looking to tie things up here and they will need to do it off the back of some of these supportive ults. Well, they only have one so far. Kangarna only has that transcendence, but sometimes that can be enough. First generation, now oh, he's going to use it. They're going to try to engage here, but they have to. There's 91% on it. The clock, Earth Shatter does go down and he gets at least three. No, he's going to get the pin kill onto a wub. So this is a 6v5 right now on the objective. First generation has the advantage right now. Duplicate to get taken very, very low. The Harmony Orb, not enough healing. He is going to go down in at the end. Insomniac will as well. Not going to be fast enough to delay the progress of this train sound barrier just to make sure everyone is alive. And now all they have to do is clean this up. Yeah, right there, Nomi. Excellent. I mean, all the first generation once again, you know, reading from that same playbook, knowing exactly when they had the advantage to push forward aggressively. We have, uh, you know, all of the cards are in our hand. We can go forward aggressively. We got the speed boost, we got the healing, we got the barriers, and it's going to be no problem to take down a tank. You know, Duplicate was really put in a no-win position uh, scenario in that very last fight. They were already down one member of the team. It was going to be an uphill climb, even if everything went perfectly for Kangarna. So now, with everything tied up 1-1 here in Busan, this will be the final decider hangar phase. Now we're going to be in that mecha base where D.Va somehow gets his her 10 to 12 mechs a game. It's got to cost a lot. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, Several billion gajillion won, I'm guessing, you know, whatever kind of, uh, you know, numbers they have in the future. Once again, first generation rolling out with that tried and true GOATS composition. Hey, man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kangarna going to be looking to do much the same. But this time they have those mirror positions. Let's see which one will be better off. Nomi's gonna go down. Oh, Hui's gonna go down very, very early, and so is Nomi. And this is a great opening for Kangarna. Great first fight from them. Yeah, you got that early D mech onto the Diva that puts you at such an advantage here. Uh, not just in positioning and the fact that they're going to be able to cap this point first, but look at Sinker's ultimate charge 60% to Naga's 29. That is a massive advantage. Graviton Surge, even these days, still a major fight decider, so having that early charge, that extra charge on your side is going to be doing you wonders. Yeah, look at the Briggs as well. Wub's almost at that rally. Zachary not even at 50% just yet, so Kangarna's going to have the advantage for a pretty long time here, but right now First Generation just trying to figure out how they're going to break through and try to get on the point, and Rob Dab's Transcendence might be exactly what they need to do that. Nomi's going to gonna have the Earthshatter soon. The Graviton Surge from Sinker and the Rally from Wub have been launched. No kills, though, to follow up. The Transcendence from both sides now 
has been used. Zachary taking very, very low. And Garna has the opening they need with that 6v5. No, he's going to look for that Earth Shatter. Is he going to get anything out of it? A counter Earth Shatter from that duplicate is going to knock the Zarya on the ground and take him out. Three kills for them. What looked bad for Kangarna at first now looks great as they continue owning this objective. Yeah, I mean, first generation, they threw in their hand there by investing Rob's transcendence, but unfortunately, they didn't have too much to follow afterwards. Zapri was bodied away from the rest of his team, not able to get any resources. The Brigida goes down first, and when Nomi thought that he had a good opening, Duplicate had an even better one. With the Reinhardt so far away from the rest of first gen, it was a free shatter for Duplicate. All right, now we see the Reinhardt's gate that aggressive eye contact down. Naga has that Graviton Surge, who we will have that self-destruct, so this could be a really great combo. Looking at the ultimates on Kungarna, Sinker very close to that Graviton Surge as well. Let's see when Naga's gonna throw this out. Oh, she throws out and it was eaten. And so now they're gonna waste that ultimate. It's gonna have to get him all the way back. Rob Depp's gonna get the kill. No Ronnie Reinhardt's on either side. Transcendence is gonna go down for first generation. More very close to his self-destruct on with Pika right now. He's gonna get the kill onto Rob Depp. So now that's two kills for Kungarna. This is a 6 v 4 on the point. They are already in the lead, and this is where they seal the deal. 15 player kill streak for Pika. Oh, that is so impressive, and that kill streak on top of an eaten grab. That is a golden day for Divas everywhere. Naga looking to start overtime right here, but he gives his life in exchange. Oh, the Earth Shatter on it too. Who he just to wrap things up. And right now, first generation is just looking for that consolation prize kill. They're not even going to get that as Kangarna is gonna wrap this up and take the first map one to zero. Oh, that is a hard fought one for Kangarna right there, but very well deserved. You know, when push came to shove, they really uh, were able to execute on those big tank CC ultimates on Mecha Base. And so one thing is for sure, like on that D.Va, eating that grab at the end, even though they're super far ahead, those are the types of plays that get you over the line and that victory. Yeah, exactly. I mean, anytime you're playing a very heavy tank composition, that th patented 3-3, three, three, uh, you know, it really comes down to those small details. There's not a whole ton of damage to be found, right? You're working through a lot of barriers. So oftentimes, you know, the difference between a fatty shatty and a complete <laughs> whiff is just going to be those milliseconds of reaction time. Nomi, for example, example, uh, you know, he thought he had a great opportunity, and he did. He got a couple with his own shatter, but then Duplicate was like, I see that. Let me show you how. I, I got let me show you how you shatter. Exactly. Recognizing that the main tank was far away from the rest of this team and able to shatter the entirety of the backline as we take a look at another really great shatter here on uh, downtown. So we talked about the tank matchup already. How are you think it's going so far? I uh, Duplicate, I mean, hey, Kangarna walked away with the win, so you can't argue with that. Duplicate certainly, you know, putting up his fair share of work on that Reinhardt. Uh, I'm really curious to see if we're going to be seeing a little bit more Winston potentially later. That's theory crafting though here. This is what I was talking about. Ooh, 180 degree mad shatter. It was that like they're like, like, we got the shatter, we got oh, him yeah, down, yeah. and they focused on that and they forgot that the other Reinhardt was at a shatter as well. Yeah, it, it is one of those very different, thi uh, you know, difficult things. It can be frustrating sometimes. It's like, well, he had a shatter too. That's that's crazy. But, you know, <laughs> it really is that timing. And unfortunately for first generation, they really needed to win that fight, especially since they invested that trance. And uh, unfortunately, it just didn't come together for them. And at that point, it was just, you know, a downhill roll. All right, so it looks like we might be going to Hollywood next. And, you know, this is another time when we might be seeing more goats. Now let's check out this Naga Graviton Surge. I love it when they use the environment to really get the most effectiveness out of that ultimate. Surprise! Nobody expects the Spanish Graviton. Uh, using, you know, the environment is one of those tried and true things from uh, Zarya's. I remember way back in the day on, like, Lidion Gardens when, like, they would grab through the wall and then yeah. drop you down into the koi pond. That was oh, so tilting. Or on Dorado, you can uh, grab the ceiling on mm -hmm. point three and get everyone on the top side. Yeah, and then just, your Hanzo just dragon strikes through it on the beautiful, top. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful professional Overwatch play for sure. But now that we're looking at the future just a little bit more, we are going to be going to Hollywood. And so let's talk about team comps here. Mm -hmm. Kangarna feeling good, getting that victory. How do we get first generation that win? First generation, you gotta, you know, levy some of that experience. You have so many great players, veterans on your team. Uh, you know, you could, you know, mix things up. It doesn't have to be GOATS every time. And in fact, you know, GOATS is not even really, you know, one of the strongest compositions we can see on Hollywood. It's a very linear map. So sure, you know, that Reinhardt shield taking up all of Street's phase is really going to help you a lot. But you also have to remember that this is a map that employs a lot of verticality. Mm -hmm. So in particular, after you're able to catch that point A, if you want to 
invest in a Diva, a Winston, you know, or even a Doomfist, Widowmaker. We may see some crazy stuff come out. You know, make usage of that high ground. You, all, you, you don't even need to, you know, press shift. You just drop straight down on everybody's heads, drop that bubble, cut off the lines of sights of healing uh, for the enemy back line. There's a lot of ways to play around that environment. So really hoping to see, you know, first generation, maybe shake things up a little bit. Bring out a Farah, man. Bring out a Junkrat. Well, I'm hoping they bring out some mana. Because we talked about it at the pregame, and we have two very, very good Ana players. Moore made a name for himself in Open Division and at Trials on that Ana. Rob, you know, Rob Dab is someone who we, we know for a long time has had a very good Ana, and I'm just really, really hoping we're going to see that here in Hollywood. Yeah, and Ana's can make a huge difference for the team as well. One fell swoop, you anti-nade the entire team. That'll force them to back off, you know, without expending a single ultimate or other ability. Yep, and now that the Nano also heals, there's a lot of opportunity to bait the other team and to really over committing on that Reinhardt or on that D.Va, not only does it heal you, it's going to make you a lot more beefy. Exactly. Ryan's one, Ryan's one. Oh, JK, full health again. And he's really mad. And he's glowing. Who are you? <laughs> Abort, right? Yeah, exactly. And so let's talk a little bit more about goats. It's something that we've been talking about all day, and we will for the foreseeable future, most likely. And so let's talk about the differences of what we might see. The mm -hmm. first thing is going to be those supports. We saw Moira, we saw Zenyatta. Can you tell us the difference between those two? Yeah, so Moira and Zen, well, one of them is a lot easier to play in free-for-all, just uh, just say it. <laughs> but the major difference when it comes to professional play is uh, Zenyatta provides so much utility with that Discord orb, that added damage buff can't be denied. I mean, anytime you see a Reinhardt with a purple balloon on his head, he's you know he's going to be forced to shield up, wait for that to go away. Otherwise, he's going to be melted in seconds. And especially when you're running, you know, very close to mirror compositions, those small differences once again will make, uh, you know, add up to a huge difference over time, right? So there's that shield shredding ability with just the regular Zen primary fire. You have the ability to Jonak somebody from across the map. That's always great, feels good. Um, but with a Moira, your team is a lot less easily dove. Mm -hmm. If you're having a hard time with your backline staying alive, a Moira can be a great option, right? She can has a lot of self-sustain, especially with that fade, able to get out of sticky troubles, uh, sticky situations herself but you know uh, she provides a lot of burst healing as well and you get that extra early power spike in that team fight with a coalescence one of the fastest charging ultimates in the game well in the end it's how it interacts with that tank play right mm -hmm. with that Reinhardt or that Winston and now that we're in Hollywood we're gonna get our first look at these team comps so let's look at this defense as of right now we do see sinker on that Doomfist Ooh, please please say it is so we've been sampling some amazing Doomfist as of late, and uh, Hollywood is going to be a great map to bring that Misto Fisto to bear. Uh, wah, nah, Sinker, it's almost as if he can hear me. I just, I, I need to be debate at least once every broadcast. It looks like Ngarna will be going back to, you know, the patented GOATS composition. Have Sinker on the Zarya this time around, and, you know, not too much of a surprise anywhere else either. Well, actually, on the other side, we do see Zapri on that Brigitte. Look at that save right there. I got debated as yeah. well. And so, <laughs> So now we're going to see the <laughs> Rob Dev on it. We're going to see the Transcending Goats, which is that Zenyatta Goats, and they're going to be rocking at Mirror Compositions here. So let's see how the attacking team, which is first generation, is going to decide how they want to engage here. So I'm assuming we're going to see some aggressiveness with these Reinhardt's. His shield already broken just a little bit. Nomi has taken space on to the point. The particle barriers are down for Zarya as well. Shield Bash was used for first generation, so they're not going to have that for a little bit longer. Duplicate, though, getting taken very, very low. Are they going to be able to confirm the kill? It doesn't look like this his health bar is going to be increasing just a little bit. Zapri taken very low as well. And so right now, they're just kind of jostling for position and ult charge on at this point. Let's take a look at that. Zapri very close to that rally. He's going to be able to get it. It's going to make the rest of his team a lot stronger. Rob Dab's going to be so close to that transcendence. And what will be the first to fall because of Nomi? Nomi popping off right now, getting those two kills. This is a 5v4 on the point right now. Nomi's oh. going to get another DMAC. Rob Dab, though, is going to say, hey, I'm alive as well. I can do <laughs> things too. It's not just Nomi's fight here as first generation is going to end this fight with pretty much six ultimates. That, oh yeah, that you cannot deny that the snowball looks likely here on Streets phase. First generation with almost the full six pack of ultimates. Of course, though, Kangarna going to be able to answer any kind of attack with Insomniac sound barrier. So they do have a little bit of cushion here, but things looking really good for first gen. I mean, hey, your goats, you love to pressure the objective. Why not just walk forward, go through that show, go for that head to head. Ryan 
in battle. And unfortunately, you know, with Duplicate falling so early there, you really need that main tank. Oh, nice sneaky grab. Getting the two takes self destruct is going to happen in response to that. The shield was there in time, but Duplicate will fall, trying to protect the rest of the team. The self destruct is going to fall right in front of the shield. Is it going to get Naga, though? The transcendence is not going to be enough. Another Earth Shatter, though, getting a three. Who are they going to confirm those kills on? And it looks like Obi is going to continue his hot streak. And Keep this payload moving. Hot streak. I mean, the man is on fire and deservedly so. Ooh. Fire strike just finishing things off. That is so satisfying. It's one of the most satisfying things that can happen to you in game, Boop. Uh, first generation, though, this is one of those things that can you can wade into dangerous territory. They've used every single one of the six ultimates that they had in order to win that fight. They will get a significant amount of uh, distance on the payload there, but they will be coming up against Kungarna's Transcendence and Duplicate's own Earth Shatter. They have to be expecting this. All right, let's see if the Earth Shatter will be big for Kungarna. They need one right now to continue that defense. They want to hold the payload. Look right here, the Earth Shatter is down. It's going to get three, and Nobi's going to get focused down. This is a 6v4, now it's 6v3 on the point. Now they just have to clean it up. You called it, my friend. <laughs> Duplicate's Earth Shatter sealed the deal for him. Yeah, certainly a great shatter from Duplicate right there. You always know it's a pretty good one when you catch the enemy, Reinhardt, right? A little bit <laughs> off guard, right? Nomi going to be kicking himself just a little bit, but first gen, of course, now they're going to be cycling into their second set of ultimates here on Hollywood round one. Of course, any single one of these, the Graviton Surge certainly could be huge right here. I mean, Pika, though, he looks hungry. He may be looking to eat another ultimate. You never know. <laughs> Sinker's about to get one of his own. Naga as well. We might see Graviton Surges from at both sides. Oh, and Sinker's going to go and drop it right when he gets it. He's going to force the Transcendence out of Rob Dad. The Earth Shatter is going to follow up as well, but the kills aren't so far. Hui and Naga did just grab their ultimates in the middle of this fight. The Zelda Trek from Hui is going to get launched. Will it get anybody? Whoa. Yes, it does. It gets both supports. That is the dream right there. Let's see if they're going to make sure that this is an end in a nightmare. That's exactly what we're going to see. Four kills for first generation. They will continue this attack beautiful combination there. It's not so often these days that we see that bigger bang combo, but Hui launching the self-destruct at the perfect time. Diva's self-destruct takes so long to actually explode. It really, you know, goes to show just how clean the communication from first gen is right now. And so they're getting close, very close to that point B. There's going to be one last touch for Kangarda. Oh, the Earth Shatter is there. It's going to knock two down, but nobody's going to get knocked down as oh, well. He's going to be taking pretty low. Sound barrier from Kangarda is going to hit everybody. They're going to be more prepared for this defense they just have more hp and this is why they're ahead right now 6v3 on the point they did grab the second point though yeah, that is a little bit unlucky right from underneath the unsuspecting toes of Kangarna first gen do capture that point B, so their spawn's gonna be very close here. They have the chance now to push back equally aggressively. Nope, but with the loss, early loss of Zafri, that's gonna be a quick reset. Yeah, this is gonna say, hey, Kangarna, we gotta aggress on them, put them right back to spawn. We got the numbers, and again, they're gonna take advantage of the weakness that first generation has given them. Yeah, first generation looking a little bit caught off guard here. And this is one of the dangerous things. Once again, we're running that Goats v. Goats composition, that mind game, right? And being able to catch the enemy team off guard, especially utilizing that speed boost. You can take so much space, space with your death ball. Oh, it was eight. Uh, another eight that grab. Singer's going to have to try to get another one. Sound, gen uh, sound barrier from first generation is going to hit everybody. The rally is going to combine with that. So first generation is rocking a ton of HP that Garn is going to have to go through. Oh, and Duplicate's going to drop that Earth Shadow. The Graviton Surges are out. Self-destruct from who? He's gonna get one and a half kills. First generation has the momentum back. They took it, and now let's get the momentum onto that payload. Ooh, unlucky there from Duplicate. He tried his best, shattered just to see if they could, you know, confirm that team uh, fight win. But Kangarna gonna be forced back a little bit to cede a little more space. Now, first generation, they have two and a half minutes to finish out Hollywood. It is looking very likely. Nomi ready with yet another Earth Shatter. I mean, this guy has been money so far, especially with those counter shatters. So even if Sinker is able to get that grab back. It's not a guaranteed win for Kangarna. All right, it looks like we do have an engaged self-destruct. It's there. The Earth Shatter is going to go down. It's going to stop the self-destruct right in front of the payload. That could have saved a couple members of his team, but it doesn't matter as the rest of Kangarna are going to take advantage of the mispositioning and get two uh, kills. Kangarna looking good on this defense. Seeker with that d -neck is pretty much going to spell due for first generation. They're going to have to try again. Yeah, Nomi went and, uh, hey, you know, kudos to you, man. He tried to go and tried to make a play. Unfortunately, things just didn't quite line up for him. He was taken down by a shield back very early on, so not able to add any of that Reinhardt hammer throughput damage to actually confirm any of those kills. Zachary also, you know, playing a little bit split from the rest of his team, oftentimes going on those flanks, trying to, you know, maybe make a little bit of work happen individually, and that has put 
him in some precarious positions before. He's getting close to that rally. May need it to save him. Other Graft on Surge is out. Rob Depp's going to drop that Transcendence to keep the rest of his team uh, safe. And that's been a really great combo for them so far. No one dies after that Graviton Surge. The Earth Shatter is down. Nog is going to be knocked to the ground. And look at this. Kangarn is going to have another good hold off the back of some good ultimates. Yeah, Kangarna seeming like they're able to take first generation's momentum, turn it around and throw it back in their face, man. And Kangarna, they're going to have four ultimates to their name here, both defensive ultimates as well as that self-destruct and Wub's rally. This is going to be so much for first generation to try and chew through with barely 50 seconds left here on the clock. And Kangarna know it. They are pushing forward aggressively, practically spawn camming first gen. Yeah, Seeker though getting pretty low. You got to be careful here because if they get a pick, then for First generation can just walk right up to the payload, especially with Naga having that Graviton Surge. They weren't able to grab any of First Generation's ultimates. Rob that really close, and Tenzin really close to the support ultimates for them. Naga, though, looking for a huge grab, as this is going to be the last fight for First Generation on it. this offense. The Particle Barrier from Sinker is down, and that was the self there. Sinker very close to that Graviton Surge himself, and look how sneaky Naga is. Are they going to be able to drop it? No, but look at this. Rob is going to go ahead and use that Transcendence, give Naga a little bit of cover. The Graviton Surge from Sinker, though, is going to come out first. This could be a really great thing for them as Naga's gonna get the kill, but oh, no! Oh. Naga's gonna go down because of that self-destruct held on to that Graviton Surge a little bit too long, and that is gonna be a big reason why they're gonna get stopped right here on Hollywood. Ah, uh, so close to that third point. Naga, no! So unlucky right there. You saw him looking too. He was so high energy, baited out some of that D.Va defense matrix peeking around that corner, just checking the enemy defense's positioning but unfortunately just caught out by that self-destruct before he could use that ult. It's such a shame, man. Well, and, um, you know, they probably timed it with that particle barrier on it himself, so he wasn't able to, you know, support himself and block that self-destruct damage. He's going to want that Graviton back, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you cannot take it with you into the next round. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, first gen, they got two points. That's certainly great. But, you know, Kangarna's win condition is clear now. Hey, you get that cart to the golden box of victory, and you're going up 2-0 in your very first week of contenders. Oh, and that's what you call momentum. And when you're Kangarna, when you're these two open division teams, mm -hmm. getting a victory over each other is so important for the future of your group. Exactly. It's like, you know, Silverbacks pounding their chest, marking their territory, right? So Kangarna is certainly going to want to roll out with a strong showing here. At least early on, it looks like both teams not going to be, you know, going for anything too crazy. It's back to that GOATS composition. And uh, first gen, this is, uh, they got to watch out for those staggered kills, or in particular, throwing out ultimates in lost fights. It seemed to be the story of many of their unsuccessful pushes on point three, where, you know, one of the players may have thought that they had an opening, kind of threw it out, and uh, maybe the communication was 100% there, or things just got a little unlucky and they weren't able to follow up, because, you know, we saw, you know, a couple of, eat, uh, an eat and grab, I believe, um, <clears throat> a shatter, you know, not really catching anything, and when it comes to playing mirror goats, you, every single one of those ults matters. Uh, particularly the ultimate economy in this composition on it. both sides so important to use in the right order in response to what the enemy team is doing as well and now we see another mirror matchup Rob Dab and Mora going to be rocking that Zenyatta so we're going to see Ghost without that Mora and we're going to see that Zenyatta in instead this is what these two teams have favored so far and what I like seeing right now is first generation is going to take a little bit of space away from, from Kangarna but that amp it up is going to push first generation back just a little bit more Zapri was a little bit too aggressive and Insomniac and the rest of the team took it advantage of that. Will the charge get anything? No, Nomi will be going down. This is looking like an easy point A take from Kangarna. Again, all they need to do is clean it up. Yeah, once again, first gen looking a little caught with their pants down there. You saw that they were trying to hold, you know, fairly aggressively in that early choke, but unfortunately, Kangarna literally just walked right past them. You had Insomniac, that little bopping frog, leaping over their heads, manages to get a kill onto a Brigida, of all things, and uh, that kind of just started the snowball, so Kangarna able to capture that first point in the very first fight. Things are certainly looking good. They're definitely matching first gen's pace. Let's see how things go on Streets phase. They're going to have the potential for a Graviton Surge and an Earth Shatter as well as the Transcendence. I mean, they're miles ahead in terms of ultimate generation against first generation. <laughs> Moore does have that Transcendence. Seeker does have that Graviton Surge. He's going to drop it right away. Get a couple members of first generation. The rest of the team will confirm those kills. We see a team kill for Kangarna. 
beautiful. Love the ragdolls, you know, extra style points right yep. there. You got yep. both the Reinhardt and the Zarya going right here. Kangarna, good news for them is that they rotated ultimates pretty well. They're staying disciplined. They're still going to have that Earth Shatter and a self-destruct online. You always want to have tools, as you said, Boop, to keep that momentum going. Uh, the snowball is real, especially with these tank ults. Naga, though, going to have his own Graviton Surge. Hopefully won't be gobbled up by that Korean Future Vacuum this time around. <laughs> Let's see if that's going to be what we're going to see. This Hammer Tornado, Naga, though, with that Particle Barrier, looking like he wants to drop that Graviton Surge, but not just yet. Keeping his Reinhardt alive. you got to focus a lot on that Reinhardt. Enable him. The Earth Shatter is down. Reinhardt is on the ground right now. Whoa, another good self-destruct kill from a peak. Another self-destruct down for the first generation this time. And this one's just a little bit better. Getting two, and the rest, finally, first generation is going to look like they're going to grab this defense off of a great self-destruct from Hui. Two is more than one. Boop, simple arithmetic. Yep. Yes, indeed. First generation able to put a stop to the cart right here in streets phase. So the things are looking good for them defensively. Kangarna invested pretty heavily in that last fight. Unfortunately, you know, things just didn't quite go their way. But they will have their own grab and their sound barrier. It's just the tale of two grabs right now, Boop. <laughs> and one is a closer than the other. Mm -hmm. Sinker very close to that Graviton Surge, and Insomniac can protect them with that sound barrier. The Graviton Surge has been thrown out. It looks like he's doing it right on cooldown. The Earth Shatter not really going to get anybody. The sound barrier protecting both teams. The first generation is going to be the first to fall victim to those kills. Kagarna, again, looking really good. They did lose that last fight, but the momentum is back. Yep, that momentum seesawed the way of the attackers here, and they will have three to try and complete out point B here. First generation themselves a little running on empty, here, except for the hint, a whiff of a transcendence from Rob Dab coming through. But they got to make sure to keep that Zenyatta healthy. He already has it, though, man. Kudos to Rob. He has certainly been playing very well, regardless of whether or not his team has been taking these fights. Yeah, if anything, they have to put this defense up so first generation can get the ultimates of their own, as Kangarna is winning that ultimate economy battle. Earth Shatter, though, going to knock some down, and Rob going to go ahead and drop that Transcendence to keep the rest of the team healthy. Zachary is going to go down again first. Nomi with that charge kill is going to even this up. 5v5. Self-Destruct is out. These have been big, but this one won't be. But Kagarna is going to continue grabbing those kills, focusing down. Nomi Seeker is going to drop that Graviton Surge to make sure they grab the second point. Hmm, Sinker, you know, kind of tossing that grab down the sink, maybe. I doubt that they really needed it to clean up that fight. But, you know, sometimes you just want to make sure, especially when so many of these battles have been won off of that knife's edge of, you know, tank ultimates here. And Zapri, oh, trying to, you know, go for that redemption arc, trying to take down, you know, Lucio 1v5. Not quite going to work out for him. That was like my favorite anime, what I just saw. That was, <laughs> you know, an even match. And in the end, Zapri will be the one to fall. The rest of Kangarna and ended up helping out. But look at this. We talked about how they needed to grab those ultimates, and they're very close to four of them. Yeah, it's actually fairly even between these two teams, but Moore has the potential to be the difference maker, save his team from either the Earth Shatter or that grab. Uh, the Earth Shatter does whip, uh, but Nomi's doesn't. Three do get knocked down. Self-Destruct is out. Duplicate will be taken down. The Self-Destructs have been getting these Reinhardts pretty frequently, and that's a testament to that Shield Bash and the focusing down the Shield as well. And first generation, for the second time this round, only will get a defense, and it's on the back of those ultimates. Yeah, first generation needed to put their foot down, stop the cart right here, because there's still three minutes left on the clock for Kangarna, and they didn't even throw out everything that they have online in that last fight. It was, you know, two Earth Shatters, both expertly blocked, but it was the charge from Nomi that ended up sealing the deal, allowing for that uh, self-destruct to connect here. And now Naga once again ready with that black hole. Uh, the last time we were on point three, Naga held on to that Graviton Surge. He's going to be falling victim to that unwilling hug. Duplicate getting focused down. Nomi will finish off that kill. Sound barrier captains just a little bit too late. Could have saved the duplicate if they came online just a little bit sooner. And now both people with ultimates on Kungarna have gone down in first generation. Looking good now. Getting a second defense on point three. Yeah, I know. Things are starting to ramp up for first gen. Most of the team on fire. We swear it's good. It's good here in Overwatch. It means that you're definitely, you know, pulling your own weight. And Zapri going to have that rally on hand. He's been playing, you know, a lot more disciplined here. Hasn't been going, going down early in those fights. And Rob Dab, once again, you know, saving his team with those transcendences. That's not going to be online this time around. It's going to be Tensa's time to shine. Uh, both shield dashes have gone down, and one was better than another first generation with that sound there. Self-destruct coming out as well, and Wub is going to get the victim. He's going to eat that self-destruct like <laughs> it's dinner, and pushing Kangarna back to spawn once again. They have taken a lot of time off the clock. Yeah, I don't know if uh, self-destructs are part of this balanced breakfast, but uh, a little bit of
of a pause coming through may have been a slight disconnect or you know a spike ping spike for one of the teams so we want to make sure that everything's just settling down settling down as things are heating up ironically <laughs> well one thing that's super cool is that hey both of these teams grab point a pretty quickly they both had more than five minutes at the start of streets phase and now we're under a minute and a half i believe mm -hmm. on point three things couldn't be closer who it is has been a delicious matchup so far in particular the reinhardt's not gonna mm -hmm. say i told you so but both duplicate <laughs> and nomi really trying their best to put their teams on their back but you know even with reinhardt in the 800 pound you know suit of armor his shoulders aren't even that big a lot of it will come down to you know that team play it's just beautiful charge to let that self-destruct go through uh, from first generation it's just really good team play right there in that moment well we've talked about the tanks again you were the you were the seer right we talked about the tank battle already and let's talk about the game a little bit more look at this replay let's see what we're about to get we got the shield bash there we got the rally coming out and now we got the graviton surge and it's going to focus the rest of first generation down and that's the type of team play that Kangarna has been showing for the entirety of this map until very recently here on point three yeah it was they were rolling you know all the way until point three this is the place where a lot of teams you know get stopped up on esper and hybrid maps Maps. But um, but yeah, I mean that what we just saw was just some really clean Overwatch, and a lot of times now you're like, oh, you know, how do we win? We you know mind game them here and you know do this tech here. Sometimes <laughs> it's just you know a great grab with a rally to provide the team the armor to you know get that throughput damage and confirm those kills. Well, sometimes the solution is the simplest one. You don't want to you know overthink these things, and sometimes a good grab is all you need. Like mm -hmm. you said, we are back in a game. We are here on point three. We do have a minute and 34 seconds left on the clock. First generation is on this defense. They want to tie this up before halftime, but Kangarna has other ideas. But we are entering, you know, a territory where there are not going to be that many fights left. Kangarna does have three ultimates, and First Generation only has Rob Dabs Transcendence. He's going to have to drop that right now because Singer did get that Graviton Surge. Duplicate with that charge kill onto Zachary. Ward's going to keep the rest of Kangarna. It's healthy, though, and Kangarna's looking pretty good. They still have that for all full six. However, the Earth Shatter coming from First Generation is going to grab two, and they're going to get the D-Mech, so there are no tanks for First Generation anymore, but Kangarna is going to take advantage of the lack of beef on first generation and take this fight. There's 57 seconds left for them to get to the yellow box of victory, or the green box of victory. <laughs> the green box, as it were, this time around. A duplicate's going to have that shatter. Nomi, again, you would really love to have that shatter in your back pocket now, as you really need it to save your team here. There's going to be no ultimates on the side of first generation. Oh, the earth shatter does go down. Naga's going to be taken down. This is a 5v5 onto the payload, but this is going to favor the defense. Oh, the Red Hearts are going to say hello with the double charge, and they're both going to get knocked down. But again, this is even. Sinker is going to go ahead and go through that Graviton and Surge, and they're going to continue trading these kills. Self-Destruct not going to get anything, but again, the spawns for first generation are going to come back just a little bit sooner. The Transcendence is out. We have 16 seconds left. Kangarna, this is the last chance they have to get to this green box of victory. Naga's going to be a little less safe because that Particle Barrier has been taken down. Nomi, though, looking for an opportunity to try to charge up that Earth Shadow. The Sound Barrier and the Support Ultimates are there for both. Both sides, first generation though, misses a couple people with that sound barrier. Zachary taking very, very low, but he's gonna get the first kill. It's the first two kills of this oh. fight. Kagarna looking so good right now. They get a team kill to finish this up. They will reach the green box of victory. Kangarna goes up, uh, first gen goes up, uh, uh, ties this up one to one. So, oh, we, I was on the edge Ooh. of my marks, Boop. It was so close right there. You saw, you know, Naga getting a Graviton Surge in the very last seconds. Nomi getting an Earth Shatter in the very last seconds. Everything teetering on that knife's edge, as we talked about. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, kudos to First Gen, able to bring things back on Hollywood. Very competitive map. Well, you know, Control was pretty close. I got to three rounds. Uh, now we're here tied one-to-one -one right before halftime. So if you're the coach of both of these teams, what are you telling them right now? All right, you're a channel, my coach. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I would say, you know, just keep, make sure that you're keeping those comms clear, that the focus fire is there. One of the worst things that can happen to a team is as, you know, as things start to go sour, people start, stop talking to each other here. Here we have duplicate, just some, you know, good old hammer time. Well, and what I love what you said is that communication, when you're super focused, sometimes that communication can go very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. But that's obviously not the case with that last fight there. Oh, no. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the comms were all like, it's one, it's one, it's one. 
Chinese one? Uh, not quite sure, but I mean, it is it is to the testament of first generation that they were able to sustain so long. I mean, when it comes down to those very last second fights, it's all about you know just making sure you have a toe on the payload to keep things contested. You don't want to be putting your body on the line. A lot of these times, you're waiting for those ultimates to come back online, just buying time, knowing that your uh, your spawn is going to be so much closer than the enemy, and oftentimes it's just a matter of the time bank. Well, speaking of time, it is halftime right now. We're going to see you super soon. This is tied up one-to-one -one first generation versus Kangarna. We'll see you on the other side of halftime. <laughs>